Hey everyone, Art here with NoCode Devs, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use OpenAI in Monday.com to automate your social images automatically based upon the copy for your social post. This is super quick, it'll only take a few minutes. Let's dive in and show you how it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're gonna to show you how to use monday.com and open AI to automatically generate images for your social posts based upon the caption. So this is super neat. It's a no-code workflow and just a couple steps here to, to show you how everything works. So we're in our monday.com workspace and we have this social media planning board, which has like our item name, the posting schedule, the post copy, um, some content tags, and then we have this image design column. So what we wanna do is we wanna generate some social images based upon our post copy automatically so that we don't have to create our own images or maybe we just want some inspiration from OpenAI. So let me show you how this works. Um, um, if I were to create a new item here, let me go ahead and duplicate it. It creates this duplicate item with the post copy. And within just a minute or so here, it's gonna generate an image design based on our post copy of my cat in a red hat. As you can see, it just popped up. If we click open this, we actually get an image here of a cat in a red hat. So this is pretty sweet. Um, if we you know, added a new item and we had different copy here, it would generate an image based upon our social copy save a lot of time it could give you inspiration you could actually use the image if you wanted uh, a lot of different use cases here this is a simple example but i want to show you how i did this and how it is all automated so all this is done in zapier let me hop over to zapier here and show you this workflow if you're not familiar with zapier it's just a tool that allows you to connect different apis together and in this instance we're connecting our monday.com board to open AI and then we're posting results back into our monday.com board. So let me go ahead and open this and show you what it looks like. So the first step here is monday.com and the event that we want to trigger this workflow is when there's a new item in our board. So we can go ahead and click continue. So um, if you haven't authenticated your monday.com account, it's just like a one click authentication and you just uh, sign in with your Monday and then you'll be authenticated right into Zapier. The board that we want to choose in this case is our social media planner board. So we just chose social media planner. I only have two boards in this account, right? Well, I guess I have a couple different ones. Um, we have the Twitter CRM, but the social media planner just lines up with this social media planner board. If you had lots of boards, you would just have to choose the correct board. Go ahead and click continue. and. This is just where it does a test to, to make sure that it's finding data and it has all the uh, sort of all the data here unformatted, but this is all the data that you can access through this trigger. So let's go ahead and click continue. So the next step is uh, OpenAI. You can create an OpenAI account for free. Once you do that, you just need to sign in to OpenAI through Zapier, just as we did with Monday. And so this is the action step. So when a new item in the board is created, what do we want to have happen? We want OpenAI to actually generate an image based upon a prompt. There's all kinds of different things that you could do. Um, you could like moderate it. So if you wanted to you know, check the copy for hateful language or harmful language or something like that, you could easily do that. But we're gonna use Dolly uh, to generate an image based upon a given prompt. So let's go ahead and click continue. And here we go. So what do we want the prompt? prompt to be. You can get really creative with this. You could add in your own text if you wanted, but to keep things simple, we're just going to actually use the text from our copy field here in this monday.com board. So we're just going to pass that through. The way you do that is you just click into the cell and you can click show all options and you just want to choose this text field. Um, there's some uh, different for things that you can do here to like fine tune it. You can get a uh, different number of image variants. Say if you want like three or four different variations, you could do that. You can change the size. I just left everything default here, but just know you can play around with those settings. Once you do that, um, you can do another test step. I've already set this up, but basically it gives you this link um, of the image that it generated from our copy in the cell. So let's go ahead and click continue. The next step here is now that we have the image, we want to 
put this image back into our monday.com board so that we can you know easily manage everything in our social media planner in our monday.com workspace so all you have to do is choose another action step monday.com and the event that you want here is update upload a file to a specific column so this is an image file it's an image url but ultimately there's a file there so we want to send this file to our monday.com board so again you have to choose your board id which is the social media planner and then the item id so how do you know which item to update what you have to do is you have to grab the item id from the first step so it knows in the workflow which item to update so we just chose the item id again if you go to step one here you show all your options you'll have this item id so this is a number you don't need to know but it rest assured that if you choose it it'll update the correct field um, and then the column that you want to have updated here so we have this column called image design, which is just like an attachment field um, here in Monday. So we want to put our image into that image uh, design field. And then you need a file name. So I actually just chose the random ID that was create, created from OpenAI for a file name, but we don't see that anywhere. So um, it's sort of unconsequential, but you have to choose a file name there because it is required. So I just chose that. So once you do that, what it'll do is just watch your board. Anytime there's a new social post and caption created, it will generate an image and pass it back to the board. You could take it a step further and you could automatically you know, tweet this out, for instance, as soon as it was approved on your board by checking a box, you can have a tweet automatically if you didn't want to check the image. But of course, since you have OpenAI generating this, these images, you probably do want to go and check to make sure that the, the image is appropriate for your post. Um, so yeah, super easy, great way to get creative and generate images automatically using AI for your social posts. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments.